Hi there, it's Running Niche Bob coming to you on Tuesday afternoon from Running Niche with a Training Tip Tuesday. I thought we'd, uh, instead of doing a little uh, posting, I thought we'd do a quick video on this, um, the 20 miler, you know, kind of the, what's perceived as the holy grail of marathon training. And uh, I just wanted to give you some perspective on this to think about. A lot of you folks are headed into marathon season here with New York a few weeks out and Indy week after New York. So, um, you know, I, I know some folks believe that you do get a mental lift or some mental confidence out of doing a 20 miler. Uh, could be true, but should you, on the other side, you got to ask yourself is it really worth the physical risk to do so? Um, and here's the reasons why um, there's three things. One, if you're out there pounding for longer than three hours, you dramatically increase your likelihood of overuse injury. And what that means is it's a lot of damage at the cellular level, at the muscle fiber level, and it's going to take weeks to recover from. So in other words, if you could do a 20 mile or under three hours, sure, you're good to go. 230 is more preferable, but if you can hit under three hours, great, go for it. If you're going to take longer than that, um, then you're at, you're at risk, and you're at risk of um, overuse injury. Um, the second thing to consider, and this is fully science-based, uh, the bulk of the aerobic benefit, or the fitness benefit that you gain from a long aerobic run, occurs between an hour and a half and two and a half hours. Anything after that, it's really diminishing returns. The other point is that uh, let's say it does take you longer than three hours and you're out there four hours or four and a half hours, you won't be able to do other workouts that are critical to building your fitness and your preparation for your marathon. Like an out and back or a progress calibration run, which are shorter runs, but they're done at faster paces. So, fundamentally, science says, the basic rule of thumb is, no longer than three hours or 25 to 35% of your weekly mileage. So how do you run a marathon without doing a 20 miler? Well, day before, you need to get in some miles, and those miles are usually at a bit faster pace. Uh, secondly, uh, you run your long run the next day at a slower pace. Combined, within 24 hours, you can get in your 20 miles, but in a much more healthy and in risk, low risk injury free type of approach. One last thought. I'm going to give you a real world example. Uh, 1979, this goes way back. I ran uh, October 14th, I ran a two hour and 35 minute marathon. Here's my long runs the previous few weeks on a Sunday 15 miles, 10 miles, 14 miles, 16 miles, 15 miles, 15 miles. October 1980, I ran a two hour and 21 minute marathon. Here's my long runs leading into that. 15 miles, 13 miles, 15 miles, 10 miles, 20, and then 21 miles, which were actually seven and eight weeks out from race day. Now, the difference is the day before, I was doing a shorter, harder run and combined getting in at least about 20 miles. So it's all about how you approach it and how you divide it up and, and having a good, sensible, thoughtful, training plan. So think about it and best of luck with your fall racing and your fall marathon.